It depends on where you are this afternoon. We do have widespread showers across the region. Oh, and something crawling across our camera lens at the Perryville Airport, but it looks like it's moved out of the way and you can see some water there on the concrete. Of course, raindrops showing up on that camera in Sparta and Carbondale as well. Maybe a bit of a drier view for parts of Mount Vernon right now, but all of us seeing the widespread activity. We are seeing some steadier rainfall falling through parts of Perry County and into Jackson County, where we've got some of that rain coming down in the Carbondale area. That's where we've got those pockets of yellows and reds showing up, not tracking any severe weather or anything like that this evening. Maybe a rumble of thunder or two, but aside from that, just kind of one of those nights. If you get out, you'll have to turn on the windshield wipers. We do still have some light showers back across Cape Girardeau, extending it close to the Piedmont area. Light shower just to the south of Poplar Bluff, but some of those southern counties getting a brief break in the activity. Widespread rain also falling across parts of western Kentucky. We do have uh, some steadier rainfall extending from about Cairo down through the Bardwell area. So again, keep a close eye on the rain, but aside from that, it's just going to be a soggy evening. We'll start to dry out a bit tomorrow and then we'll see more rain chances coming our way as we head into the weekend. So here's that system keeping us pretty active today. That area of low pressure working its way in from the south. There is a severe thunderstorm watch in place. Those are those pink boxes. But again, all of the severe weather, all of the storms will stay out of our area. We're just going to have to deal with the soggy conditions. And honestly, for not too long, we will start to see the rain making its way out of the area through the overnight hours. So we're talking after midnight tonight, about 3 a.m. A few isolated showers still lingering, but for the most part, that heaviest rain has worked its way out. We could see an isolated shower or two throughout the day on Friday, but most of the day Friday looks to be a dry and cloudy day. So temperatures will still be on the warmer side. We will be climbing back up into the upper 60s, so not a bad way to end the week. Again, a possible isolated shower. Most of us stay pretty dry, though. Keep that storm track three app around because that rain comes back for weekend plans. I don't think it's going to be a washout. I don't think you need to cancel those plans, but it's certainly something to watch. A cold front will make its way through the area on Saturday, raising those rain chances, keeping a few around into Sunday before we see some drier weather coming back. But if we take the rainfall outlook all the way out three days, we're really for most of us talking about a tenth of an inch where we've got some of the blues showing up maybe uh, more than a half inch, so nothing too heavy and it will be fairly spotty. So I don't think again that your plans will be ruined, but you may want to have an umbrella if you'll be outside for any birthday parties or anything like that. Jackets probably needed by the time we get back to Sunday and Monday. Temperatures will be dipping back down into the low 60s. Thank goodness they aren't around for too long. By the time we get to Wednesday, upper 60s come back, and then we've got those 70s coming back by the end of the week. Oh, I can't wait. I'm, so <laughs> I'm ready for the 70s. Me too. All right. Thank you, JC.